Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I am a nutritionist and medical herbalist and the founder of Puhutakawa Health. And today we have a super fun video where we are going to interview my dear friend, registered dietitian, Jess Piernak. So in my clinical practice, when I see clients one-on-one, -on -one, I see a lot of people with gut issues. So digestive problems, bloating, gas, bowel issues, um, irritable bowel syndrome. And one of the other major things that I see quite a bit is people who have been newly diagnosed with celiac disease. Um, Jess is a dear friend of mine. We used to work together. She's an excellent dietitian, and she has a practice that specializes um, in gut health and celiac disease specifically. So she is like my go-to resource anytime I have a client that has something that like is a little bit tricky or that I want a little bit of extra like clinical expertise on, Jess is my go-to. So she's going to join us in a second here and I'm just going to get her to tell you uh, a little bit about herself, what a dietitian is, and then we're going to go into some questions about celiac disease and gut health. And I hope this is super helpful for you. Um, the other fun thing is that Jess has also interviewed me also about gut health things, um, but my use of herbs with gut health challenges over on her YouTube channel. So I will make sure to link her YouTube channel, all of her social media contacts, all of that kind of stuff down below. So you can go check her out and make sure you go check out her video as well. Okay, let's get into it. Let me find her. Hi, everyone. So I'm Jess, and thank you, Emily, for having me. So I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. So I'm a registered dietitian, as well as actually a wellness coach. So what is a dietitian? So a dietitian is somebody who's university trained in nutrition so everyone is kind of a nutritionist honestly you could take a weekend course you could take a year-long course you could be a personal trainer who's done you know an hour-long workshop on nutrition they're all nutritionists so that registered dietitian term is just more regulated by a college so which means we are handcuffed for a lot of different things but which is always good and bad so yes i'm a registered dietitian um, basically, my practice focus is in gut health and celiac disease. Most dietitians are found in a hospital or more in clinical settings. You will find dietitians, obviously, in private practice, but um, they're mostly found in hospitals doing clinical stuff. But I'm a little bit of the exception. So, yes, that is me. Sweet. Um, so yeah, you know that in my practice, I work with people quite a lot as well who have digestive issues. Um, so like, what are your top three things that you recommend to people when they come to you with, you know, issues like bloating and gas and things like that? That's such a good question. So I would say there's like three solid things that I'm constantly sort of trying to get everyone to do. And one of them would be like start a good probiotic. And that sounds like a oxymoron because there's so many probiotics out there and how do you choose the right one? So there's this amazing site called probioticchart.ca and basically it's a third party site that's kind of gone out there and done the grunt work for you. So they've really just figured out which probiotics have researched to back them, um, you know, animal studies versus human trials and even like longitudinal. So like, is this probiotic going to work for a week or is it going to work for a couple of months so definitely go onto that website figure out which probiotic you want to take but definitely start a probiotic the website itself is not user friendly but it gets the job done so definitely kind of ugly, check right? that out yeah it is it's terrible it's one of those like government sites i think sometimes yeah. where <laughs> it just does has a purpose but it's not pretty so Definitely start a probiotic. The other one would be up your fiber. So what fiber does is you're kind of feeding those good bacteria that you've just added to your life with the probiotic. So with the fiber though, please start slowly because if you give yourself too much fiber, whether that's through more flax seeds or hemp hearts or 
like celiac husks, you might get backed up really quickly. So drink lots of water, start really slow. Um, and don't be worried if you are gassy or noisy, because that's just so common. Right. Um, and the other thing is I talk a lot. It's funny because like you think as a dietitian, we're talking more about food, but I find myself talking about stress so often because the brain and the gut are so connected. There's actually more nerves connecting the two than there is in your spinal cord. So if you're stressed or anxious, your gut is going to show it. So we spend a lot of time talking about How's your stress? What can you do to regroup and regenerate? And so, yeah, it's, it's a big part of the gut health conversation. Awesome. That's such helpful information. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay. So that's kind of like basic gut health or digestive health support. Tell me a little bit about celiac disease. I know you see a lot of people in your practice who have celiac disease, are newly diagnosed, and I feel like there's so much information that get thrown at people when they first get diagnosed that it's quite overwhelming. What is your sort of like top information or top go-to advice for somebody who's newly diagnosed with celiac disease? Yeah, um, I feel like with celiac disease, it's a lot of doctors are, because it's, it's one of those things that's getting more and more prevalent so before like you know 10 years ago it was very rare for someone to have celiac disease when I say rare I don't mean I think a lot of people had it but it was just undiagnosed so I think there's not a lot of support right now in the medical community just because no one knows a lot about it right so it's it's kind of a new-ish thing that people are talking about so I think people get sucked into this world of it not being a serious thing all you have to do is go home and not eat gluten anymore but it's way more complicated than that. And what I need to make sure everyone understands is that you do need to follow a strict gluten-free diet because it is an autoimmune disease where gluten is going to cause damage to the small intestines and like specifically the, the BLI, the finger-like projections. So if those are damaged, you're not going to be able to absorb iron and calcium and you're going to be more prone to like anemia and osteopenia and other autoimmune diseases. So it's something that when you do get the diagnosis, it's follow 100% and follow strictly. Even if someone says to you, oh, no, no, come over to my house and I'll make you something. Like it's, it's, it's an awkward thing to have to navigate those conversations, but it's really important that you take this seriously, despite what anybody, anybody says. So yeah. it is overwhelming and it is frustrating and there's some amazing support. So the Canadian Celiac Association, awesome. they have different chapters throughout the country. Um, there's a national board of directors as well. If you're looking for support, I would 100% head over there and meet them because they go to dinner together. They have support group meetings. Like it's really lovely. So awesome. definitely get your support. Cool. And we will link all that information in the description box below. And also Jess on her YouTube channel does awesome videos for people who have um, a new celiac diagnosis and need some like tips and tricks as well. So I'll make sure we link a few down below there as well. <clears throat> excuse me thank you Emily. um um cool that's super helpful information jess is there anything else we should know about you or about being a registered dietitian yeah so if you could do us a favor so basically um dietitians are not covered under msp i wish they were um because then everybody would have access to a dietitian which i think would be helpful for the world um but in the meantime let's get us on extended health benefits so check out your benefits, see if you have a dietitian on there. If you don't, give your benefits company a call and just say, hey, a dietitian should be on here. And then hopefully one day we'll be like naturopaths and massage therapists where we'll be on everyone's extended health benefits. Yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing? I know. I know. Or for free. It'd be nice too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. That's great. Cool. Thanks so much. Well, um, that's it. I'll just wrap this up. Perfect. Okay, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content on natural medicine, herbal medicine, ways to support your health uh, naturally, I have a series called Backyard Medicine as well, which I talk about plants that are really easy to access for basically everyone, no matter where you live. Um, please feel free to check that out as well. I would love to have you along. 
have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.